The Philippines has always been known for its rich environment. But through decades, the air pollution from cities and infrastructure has tarnished them greatly, causing numerous effects on people's health, making cities rich in air pollution like Metro Manila unhealthy places to live in. Some of these effects include reduced lung functioning, irritation of eyes, nose, mouth, and throat, asthma attacks, respiratory symptoms such as coughing and wheezing, increased respiratory disease such as bronchitis, reduced energy levels, headaches and dizziness, disruption of endocrine, reproductive, and immune systems, neurobehavioral disorders, cardiovascular problems, cancer, and premature death. According to the Department of Environment and Natural Resources Environmental Management Bureau, or DENREMB, Metro Manila's air quality worsened even more last year, 2015, with the air pollutant concentration in the national capital region reaching 130 micrograms per normal cubic meter by the end of 2014, and the maximum safe level of air pollutant concentration is 90. Many particles that contribute to polluting the air include soil, bacteria and viruses, fungi, mold and yeast, pollen, combustion products from space heating industrial processes, power generation, and motor vehicles. But among all of these sources, the biggest pollutant is gas emission, making up 85% of the air pollution in Metro Manila, according to National Emissions Inventory in 2012. Philippine Statistics Authority, or PSA, reported that there are more than 7,463,393 registered motor vehicles in the Philippines contributing to this. The Philippines recognized the importance of transporting goods and passengers. That's why more roads and highways were built. But as more roads were built, more private cars appeared as well. This resulted in more planning for private car owners and less investments on public transport and non-motorized transport like walking or bicycle riding. A solution to address this is through the promoted use of public transportation. In the same way with jeepneys and trains, it takes the same amount of people in one bus to fill up an entire street if each passenger drove in a private car. So not only are you lessening the amount of gas emitted into the air, but traffic would be lessened as well. The fuel efficiency of a fully occupied train car is 15 times greater than an average commuter's private car. And a fully occupied bus is 6 times greater. It is clear that vehicle emissions present global climate and air pollution problems. One big way to mitigate these effects is to lower the number of cars on the road. In doing so, we can lower the amount of vehicle gas emitted into the air. So next time you want to go somewhere, try to commute instead. It may be a hassle, but if more and more people commuted instead, we can make the city air healthier to breathe in.